pretty good at this. Look at the flag, it's breezy as he bumps it forward. Oh, and he chips it in. Take that. Birdie, net eagle. That's a tremendous fillip for him. The other three, of course, will be gutted. It's only natural, they're all human. Par attempt for Lata. Mm, it's a clumsy one. It's trundled by it. So level after the first playoff hole. And this for Sneet for a five net four. And that's missed. So plus one. Six net five in the end. He's playing catch up. We saw that beautiful overhead shot, the 17th, the par three. Llewellyn has the honor with the birdie net eagle. Such a massive thing to take a lead at the first hole because there's only two to go after that. And that's a wild one. Left and bunkered. Chance perhaps for Ross. Find a good swing somewhere. Steady. Target not found. Lata, can he find the putting surface? He's back in it if he can. This looks better. Well struck, back edge, but he's putting. That's a, a marked improvement on the previous two tee shots. And Sneet, after the six net five at the first. Looking a little left of target. Is it coming back? No. Misses the bunker, skips past that. He'll have to chip that in or do something pretty magical before he gets to 18. Now halfway through the playoff and the clock is ticking. Ross is second. Beautiful bunkers here at Dalmahoy. And he just pops that one up in the air. Well, seven out of ten, maybe. This is very awkward. Llewellyn went piling into the back edge of the trap. Awkward stance. Well, he's played a shot here. That's another wonderful shot after the chipping at the previous hole. Snee second. Needs something now. Chip in. Putt. Gives it a bash with the flat stick up the hill. And pretty good from where he was. But I don't think he'll make up the mistake he made at the first. Just not enough time. Lata's second from the back edge. going, keep going, keep going. He might make par and still make two shots on everyone else, or at least one. Par par for Ross. Saw the bunker shot pull up a little bit shy. Mm, it's not a bogey yet. The Wellens par attempt. If he holds this, he's in a super strong position. If this just finds the bottom of the cup. So a shot back to the course. He drops a shot back to minus one, which gives the others hope. Sneeze par putt. Not to be. And after two playoff holes, plus two for the playoff, Snee moving out of the running that's for sure Lata's part must find this putt after the approach work was good oh and that's a snap hook left so he drops to plus one which for the players that are under par it's a big boost it really is bogey putt for Ross he will drop back to level Well hold. Well, it's good news for Rocky Llewellyn because he will have a slender lead with one hole to play. And you'll see that when we come back.
the perfect gentleman's playground. The perfect gentleman's playground. We haven't identified the champion of Scotland, but we will soon. Just one hole to go before we know who that person is. We're at the beautiful Dalmahoy, and in this low evening sunlight, it looks rather special, doesn't it? And that's because it is. 18th hole, par 5. Chances for all four players. The Wellin, he leads, he goes first. Nudge to the right. Oh, yes. That's perfect. What a start for the man in front. You know, qualifying for the playoff is very different to actually performing well in the playoff. It's a very different discipline. Ross is level. And that one looks to be cutting its way back into the fairway. And it does. Center cut. Beautiful tee shot. Very pleasing to the eye. Easy on the eye, in fact. Lata had the low score of the day, 37 points. Needs something special here at the final hole. And that might be a very good start. Another fade Schaefer. Terrific, three terrific tee shots. And last to go, Snee. Well, that's low and out the neck and well, in there somewhere. Disappointing. You could see it on his face. That's not what he needed. He's chasing big time. He found his ball. And now his second is just merely smash it and get it 50 yards onto the fairway. Well, he's done well. He's done very well. He can reach the green in three from there. Big strong fella. He needed every ounce of that to get through that grass. And they're having a crack at it. There's a cross area of bushes and ooh, not there that's what I was talking about that's fine and he could find the green with this marvellous Lata his second good strike now he's topped it and he hates it careful those bags are expensive sneeze third at the 18th did well to have this for his third after being way left off the tee. Not bad, just a little bit short of the green. He could chip it in for a birdie four. He needs a miracle. It's iron for Llewellyn, not taking any chances. He's in the driving seat. Don't give it away when you get yourself in front. This one a little left perhaps, but over the trouble. Well, he could have got it on the green easily with that. And that's bunkered greenside in two. Perfect. Meanwhile, the travails of Mr. Lata in the brambles and the hazard drops out. So this is his fourth. Oh, and that's gone skating through the back. So I think we can count Mr. Lata out of affairs. 
This race is run. It's really now between two people. One of them is not Mr. Snee. But finishing style, that's the important thing. A little low scudder. One to forget, perhaps. And Snee bites the dust. But remember, all these players have done well to get to the playoff itself. It's only four out of more than 100 players. Ross is third, chips this in, it changes things dramatically. Well, that for a birdie, he's one behind. Still very much in a knife edge, this. The bunker shot of Llewellyn, Rocky is third. We made sure he got it out, but very close to the ball there to get that much spin. And this is the birdie putt. And this is for the win, to be champion of Scotland. A little tentative. He's happy with his score of one under par. This must go in to stretch the playoff. Oh, no. Sometimes you win when you hold a putt, and sometimes you win when someone else misses. There's Dad. Father and son, very competitive. Dad said he was going to win. Son said he was going to win. It's Rocky the Wedding. He's going to do the business. If he can just pop this one home. And break out the tartan. We've got a new champion in Scotland. You try and shut that up tonight. Absolutely no chance. Oh, lovely moment. Father and son. There's nothing like winning, is there? Dad's in bits now. He's trying to be hard and he's trying at the same time. That's a tough gig. Well, William Hunt said there would be an English champion of Scotland. He was correct. Paul Rocky Llewellyn, the champion of Scotland. Two down, seven more regional qualifiers to go every Monday night here on Sky Sports before the final at Saint-Pierre. We also have the Pairs competition, the Trilby Twos, and our Rogues Gallery special. Now let's hear from the newly crowned champion of Scotland, Englishman with Welsh name, Paul Llewellyn. There's three other great guys, great golfers with some good golf. I was pretty fortunate with the, with the chip on the, on the first playoff, um, and that put me in a really strong position. Then it turned it into a match play event, um, and that's, I love that. So it was a case of just shot for shot, just making sure that I'd got every area covered, and it worked. We stick with Paul for shot of the day and his superb chip from the edge of the green in the playoff. And keeping it in the family, we start Rogue's Gallery at the 17th with Paul's dad, Ron, proving that talent skips a generation. On the 16th, Derek Cowan shows us how to make a tee shot go all of 20 yards. David Big Dog Hughes is, well, awful. And the champion of Yorkshire, Paul Rogers, bothers the bunker on 17. This shot of the 18th demonstrates how undulating the fairway is, but that's still no excuse, Michael Moran. It's Mikey again, back on the 6th, making a habit of it. We were wondering if the Hawthorne tree in the 18th is in blossom yet, and uh, thanks to Alan Hamilton, we discovered that it is. Martin Steen here trying to reach the green on the 18th, with a chip that turns into a scuttler that bounces straight into a bunker, and once in that bunker, <laughs> he's more than happy to stay there. Here, Colin Brown decides to turn the 18th into crazy golf by playing over the plastic chairs and presumably <laughs> through a wee windmill. Lee McDonald in the 12th decides to play it long, long, long through the marshal's buggies and on to the 15th. After Cliff Lewin's approach on the 4th goes wild and right and possibly into the stream, he decides to take a drop and then proceeds to hit his replacement ball, you guessed it, wild and right and possibly into the stream. At least he's consistent. However, nice to see Gordon Hamilton, who's in the same position as Cliff, play it much more safely. We've dropped the music on this clip so you can fully appreciate how close our cameraman came to losing his kneecaps. You can see it again in slow motion while we file it under 
who'd be a cameraman. It's great seeing, I mean, when Paul first started on this tournament, I think it was like 15 handicap, 14, 15 handicap, and he, you know, he was in there in the mix then. And to see how his Troubadour career, I think he's a 5.6 now, and he's come along and won again. I mean, he's a king of Scotland with a 5.6. Got the same caddy, preparation, 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 that's what he does. You know, he's a, he's a magnificent, he's so strong-willed. And uh, he's a winner, he's a winner. Is he the best golfer we've ever seen in the world? He's certainly one of the best Troubadourians. Next week, the tour returns to Hampshire, but to a new venue, marvellous Meon Valley. We'll see you then, but in the meantime, please check out the website, www.williamhunttrilbytour.com, to see how you can get yourself embroiled in next year's tour. For now, from Scotland, it's a good cheerio to you, the new. Scottish people, well, they kill you with kindness, don't they? That's the danger here. You, you start off with these guys, you end up God knows where and when. And uh, they, they, maybe not put that bit in. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>